Good evening, everyone. I have a special video for you guys today, and this video is going to show you how um, they hide the ice wall from the tourists who actually take a tour to supposedly Antarctica. And there's only two tour routes for, from two different countries, and uh, you're going to be amazed. Once I went to the original flat earth map from 1892, it was easy to figure out how they do it. I'm going to show you guys. Enjoy the video. Okay, here we have the flight and cruise route for a tour to Antarctica from Planet Janet Travels. Uh, let me zoom in on that a little better where you guys can see it. Um, there we go. Okay. Now... Let's switch over to this map of the route so you can see the names. It leaves out of Cape Horn, uh, goes past the South Shetland Islands along the Antarctic tail and then back up. Now this right here would be the South Shetland Islands on Google Maps. And then of course, uh, there's the little tail of Antarctica. Uh, there's a panned out view for you guys. If see it a little better but pay attention to the tail of that uh, antarctica it's going to be really important in, in a minute here here's another uh, view of the route see how it goes along the edge of that tail and then they turn around and they go back okay now here's where things get interesting let's look at the 1892 uh, flat earth map now this right here is south america so let's zoom in here where you guys can see this now here's the route there's cape horn where they leave from and as you can see right down below that you have the south shetland islands okay and then you have the ice wall of course but notice this little tip little tail right here well that's the same tail that you see on the continent antarctica that they show you on the globe which is pretty slick but anyways this little part right here this is the little area that they travel along and call it the Antarctica which is only a tiny little bit so the route goes this way it goes through the Shetland Islands uh, comes down through here past these little islands then turns around and goes back to Cape Horn and if you'll notice on this map how the ice wall looks well down here where they supposedly tour at this is the only part of the little ice wall that sticks out in that area so you wouldn't you'd be stationed there working or take a tour and you would never really see the ice wall you only see that little piece of it that sticks out because of the rest of antarctica is off limits now let's have a look at the only other tour that you can take to antarctica which goes from south uh, New Zealand to and back to Tasmania now notice I want you to pay attention to that little Stewart Island there as you leave New Zealand notice they go down here to what they call Commonwealth Bay and then they cruise along a little bit turn around and go back to Tasmania okay now let's have a look at that route on the flat earth map here we have uh, South New Zealand and notice right there on the other side of it, you see that little Stewart Island um, that I was telling you guys to look at on the uh, Google map. Okay, so the route leaves here, goes down here, which on this flat earth map, it says Disappointment Bay. Remember on the Google Earth map, it says uh, Commonwealth Bay, and then they go back, return to Tasmania. So, anyways, like I said, they leave here, go along this little bitty tiny bulge that sticks out from the ice wall called Commonwealth Bay, Disappointment Bay, whatever. Notice it's the only part in the ice wall except for the other part that I showed you that bulges out away from the ice wall. So anyways, they go down through here, cruise along a little bit, and then return back to Tasmania. That way you never see the ice wall. You only see that little bulge of it that's sticking out there out of this whole map. Most of this wall is cut out perfectly all the way around except for those two little spots. And they both bulge out and then they're at the exact same spot at the bottom of both of those countries. Just like it shows you on uh, Google Maps. 
Now, as you can see, it's really, really simple how they uh, pull it off, uh, making you believe that Antarctica is a continent when it's not. That's why it's called the Antarctic Circle, because it's an ice wall, a circled ice wall all the way around the whole world. And I've had a lot of people say, well, I've had friends that worked there and they didn't see any ice wall. Well, or were stationed there actually. And I'm sure they were stationed there, but they were only stationed in those two little bitty areas that I just showed you. And that's also the only two little areas that you could take a tour to. And uh, the rest of, and I say this in quote when I say Antarctica, is restricted off limits to the public, to anybody. And that's due to the 1958 Antarctic Treaty. That's because they have something to hide. They know if you went anywhere other than those two spots, you would realize that you're on an ice wall. And uh, even in a lot of flat earthers, a lot of my friends of mine are always wondered, well, how do they pull it off? How, how, do they, how do people not know? And that's exactly how, the way that I just showed you. And it uh, just takes a little bit of research, especially if you have the flat earth map. Anyways, hope that helped you guys out. Thanks for watching and God bless.